Yeah, I thought in terms of the basketball game, uh, the first half uh, was one of our better halves all season. It was a better one of our better 20-minute segments. So going into the game, um, you know, in my mind, I thought we needed to score 90 points to win this game. Um, probably needed to make nine or 10 threes. Um, you know, Sears is a, an SEC Player of the Year candidate, no doubt. Um, knew we were going to get their best shot tonight. It's basically a championship type game for them as they try to win the league. Um, difference in the game, I thought, was just the number of shots. You know, you get 20 more shots on goal. And so, how do they get it done? 14 offensive rebounds. Um, it's just a non negotiable for us. Um, and then we turned the ball over too much. So, turning the ball over and then giving them extra possessions on the offensive glass was the shot attempted discrepancy. And so that really hurt us. Um, and I thought in the second half, the start of the second half, um, you know, I, I saw our confidence kind of got shook there a little bit early. And then we fought back, kind of kept it a two possession game for a while. Then, um, you know, just didn't have enough in us late. So I thought we did a lot of really good things tonight, you know, against again, a team that has got a chance to win the league. Um, just got some things that we, our margin for error, uh, just isn't that great. So we can't give up 14 offensive rebounds. We can't turn the ball over 15 times when you're playing against one of the best teams in the country. Question for Coach. OK, thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all. We good? You, got, you mentioned the end just then. You guys, I think it was nine and a half or so to go. You tied it up. You, there was a kind of a six-minute swing there after that where they just kind of dominated. Is there anything that you saw in, in those six minutes? That stood yeah, out? untimely turnovers. A couple of wasted offensive possessions, um, lack of execution, fatigue, whatever you want to call it. Ball just kind of stuck um, on a night where we were really getting anything we wanted offensively when we got the ball reversed and made a couple passes. Um, again, we shoot over 50% from the floor. We shoot mid-30s from three. Um, got to the free throw line more than them. So it was the offensive formula to have a chance to win the game. Um, we just can't, we can't overcome. 14 offensive rebounds given up, and 14 or 15 turnovers. And I thought in some of those spurts, you know, um, in my opinion, Alabama plays in spurts. You know, there's 10 four-minute games in a college game. And um, if you just kind of study them like we have, you know, they're going to try to knock you out in a couple of those segments. Uh, and that's exactly what they did. They had a six-point play where Musa got the flagrant one. Did you, did you get an explanation on what that was? No, I didn't. And, it's frustrating sometimes from a coaching standpoint, but we'll just um, keep doing the best we can. Uh, but I, I couldn't try to get an explanation, couldn't get one on that one. Chris, what led to the starting lineup change tonight? It's an internal thing with the team, so um, leave it at that. Chris, you mentioned that Jamin was suffering a wrist injury over the weekend. How is he doing now? thought he played with a lot of courage uh, tonight. Hasn't been able to practice in between these games. Uh, we let the wrist kind of flare back down. Um, and then he's able to get some game shots up on like the day before the game. So, um, you know, no excuse program. Um, our doctors are doing a great job with him. Trainers doing a great job. Break deserves most of the credit. You know, he's playing banged up, but no different than every team in the country right now has a guy or two that's banged up a little bit. But I thought his heart was in the right place tonight. Um, Obviously, he's got to play better. Everybody's got to play better. We got to coach better as well. Chris, you look, look at look at defensive efforts against some of the, the better teams on their schedule. I mean, obviously, I'm sure the pace played it to the 103 tonight. But how would you evaluate um, those efforts for your team? I thought the first half was one of our 20 uh, better 20 minute segments on the season. Um, we made some mistakes, but I thought we were very aggressive. Um, we were dialed in, thought effort was an all-time high, and we had guys making plays. Um, second half, we just had those lulls where uh, we had some missed assignments. Um, many of their three-point shots tonight weren't manufactured by their offense. They're manufactured by our mistakes. Um, but give them credit. You know, they had the spacing and the talent out there to force some mistakes. But again, the basketball thing tonight, you can't give up that many offensive rebounds combined with that many turnovers. When the other team shoots 20 more times than you do, you know, it's not going to be a formula for success against one of the best teams in the country. The, the offensive rebounding issue is, I mean, it's been a, a common problem. Is there a reason why that hasn't been able to get fixed, in your opinion? 
Yeah, fair question. And, um, you know, I, it's, it's discipline. Um, we work it every day. We talk about it. Um, our team's prepared. Our players put in the work in the film room and scout reports. But when you get out there, you got to make the play. And, um, you know, they're, they're off guard. Who's a special player because he's a, he's a guard in this league. He's an offensive rebounder. Uh, he must have had four or five tonight. Those are all timely mistakes. Um, so a lot of it, you know, it's just discipline, doing the right thing time and time again. You know, shot goes up, check your man. No man to check, double block out, rebound down, go get a 50-50 ball, wedge block out, face block out, uh, communicate on block outs. Um, and so a lot of it, and, and trust me, we've studied this, um, a lot of it is just we, we have to make that play and we just don't make it. You got a big game coming up on Saturday. What do you tell your team to kind of get their confidence back after three consecutive losses? Yeah, they're all big. Um, every game's big. We don't ever, I don't think I've ever used that terminology my whole coaching career. It's a big game, and they're all big. Uh, Bill Russell said it best, you know, the biggest game you've ever competed in is the next game on the schedule. And a lot of young guys look at you like, but that's just true. Like, how can you feel any different? And so... Um, our plan will be consistent with what we believe in. You know, we'll just get back to work, um, train room tonight, get some sleep, get back in the film room, own it. Um, a lot of good things to look at in the film room tomorrow too. You know, I'll, I'll repeat. I thought our first 20 minutes uh, tonight was was good, clean basketball. You know, I feel like if we played like that for 40, we could play with anybody in the in the league. Um, and just get back to work. I mean, it's it's all you can do. You know, nobody's gonna feel sorry for you. You just got to get back to work. And um, one of many reasons that I've really enjoyed coaching this team um, is that our guys have a pretty short-term memory. Um, you guys have seen it. You've been at the games. We've had some highs and uh, we've had some lows. And this team, you know, has responded really well. You know, I, 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 love, I love coaching these guys. I believe in them. I hurt for them. Um, this team really, really wants to win the game on the scoreboard. I promise you that. And um, had a couple good days of practice this week and thought we started the game really well. Um, you know, the end of the first half, they went on one of those runs, but I didn't think that was our lack of effort or our lack of want to. Um, you know, it's just a really good team. Uh, in the second half, it just got away from us for all the things we've talked about here. Under 40% shooting, second half, they come out, shoot 61%. First of all, kind of what did you feel like the biggest difference was there? And second of all, just a team like Alabama, how hard is it to hold them down for 40 minutes like that? Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to hold Alabama down for 40 minutes. But, you know, again, you try to you try to respond to their runs. There's a difference between a 16 to 5 run and maybe a, you know, a, a 10 to 4 run. And so it got away from us a couple times in some of those segments. When you think about those segments, it's just untimely mistakes. Um, your offense has to help your defense when you play against an offensive team like Alabama. And again, our turnovers tonight, our lack of blockouts on the other end, you know, it's an interesting kind of stat sheet to study. I thought in the first half we rebounded better. Um, you know, we have we have a lead at halftime. Any more questions? Thanks, y'all. Thank you.